Hello, my amazing sexy mofos. This is your boy Venomy here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. In today's video, I've got an absolute monster for every single one of you. This car is the ultimate sleeper, the Civic RS 1974. But straight off the bat, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, for the share code, stick around for the end of this video. It's just after the upgrades and the tunes, I share the code. And you guys will be able to quickly write that down and use that if you want to. Or you could just copy the video for the upgrades and the tune and everything you want. It just depends what you guys would prefer. But this car is the ultimate sleeper. It looks awesome. When you don't have the body kit on it, it looks absolutely like anything would destroy it. I actually love the default look of this car. It, that's what I mean when I say it's the ultimate sleeper. A car from 1974. It is juiced up to hell. I think it weighs less than three quarters of a ton and has over a thousand horsepower so this car is an absolute animal you could obviously use the body kit preset like I've just shown you right here but we're gonna jump straight into this okay first of all for the engine swap yes you are gonna need one we're putting in the 6 litre V8 that is gonna juice this thing up to high heaven for the drivetrain you wanna make it all wheel drive and then you wanna top it off with a twin turbo you could put the body kit on it if you want to you don't have to it doesn't add much much weight really but obviously if you want to make the car look obvious that it is going to destroy everything then add the body kit but if you wanted to make it a sleeper don't have the body kit i don't have a spoiler on it nothing at all anything like that i haven't got anything like that as well so you could have the spoiler on it if you wanted to it's your cool for the tire compound you want drag tire compound and you want to make the rear tire width as big as possible I believe that's a 275, 245, 275 after this we can go to drivetrain you can just copy my transmission, my drivetrain and my differential the drive line I've got race the differential you could have off road, you could have it drift there's an argument that off road and drift make you change gear quicker it's very very debatable so depending on your preference of how the car handles you could go for race or off-road that's what i'd recommend for platform and handling off-road springs race brakes race reduction kit of course um the anti-roll bars um i don't recommend a roll cage this time that adds a considerable amount of weight and that's kind of not what we're going for I know the game, if you look at the stats, it says a roll cage makes you go from 0 to 60 faster, but it adds a ton of weight, that just doesn't make sense, so we're not going to opt with the roll cage. Obviously, for the engine parts, you want to maximize them, max them out, you want as much brake horsepower as possible, so you want to put all of them on race. When it comes to the actual tuning, my advice is just pause the video as I'm changing category after this part is the share code so you could use the share code or you could watch the video and just note it all down or customize it depending on depending on your preference because i know everyone prefers their cars to run a bit differently their way just so they got it under control and everything like that but i'll leave you all with the footage to actually judge the car and decide if you kind of want to buy it if you don't want to buy it i'd understand if you wouldn't but for a 1970s car, it will blow anything away. This thing is an absolute monster. It is a machine. As you'll see right here, I nearly lost control of it and went flying. It weighs less than three quarters of a ton and has over a thousand brake horsepower. This thing is a... It's crazy. It's actually very hard to traction control off and stability control off. It is very hard to keep this thing in a straight line. I will say that myself. I might have the capability to do a wheelie because it is so so light but obviously we're not aiming for that this is definitely by far one of the fastest cars in the game but don't take my word for it try a few cells 
judge the footage and let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. But I'll leave you all with the footage so you can judge it yourselves. Remember to check out the comment section and the description. I'll have a link to my sponsor so you can go grab yourself some better gaming gear or a nice tasty treat. You can use my discount codes and save yourselves a hell of a lot. Because, you know what? A shout out every weekend, to me, it just feels kind of pointless. It's not really a way of me actually physically being able to help you. Well, not physically being able to help you, but I want to be able to give back. You guys have supported me for years watching my videos. And at least this way, instead of actually just, oh, a shout out for you, a shout out for you, at least this way I can actually save you money, help you guys out, and actually give you something that you guys want. We all deserve to be happy. We all deserve nice things, nice treats. At least this way I can help you guys achieve that. But I'm going to wrap this video up here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. But I love every single one of you. Stay safe. And I'll see you all in the next video.